Good evening. Thank you for joining us for an update on some very important school system plans. I would first like to introduce the city of Bowie's mayor, Mayor Fred Robinson. Thank you all. Thank you for coming out tonight, Dr. Dr. Potter. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you come and talk about such non-controversial subjects like changes being implemented this year, budget limitations, boundary reviews. I'm sure there will not be a single question about any of those things. <laughs> but we do thank you very much. I think the one thing you will find about Bowie probably as much or more than any other community in Prince George's County is, as, a, as we say here all the time, the three most important things in this city, education, education, and education. You will not find a community that supports education more than this community here, and we're proud of that. So we're glad to have you here. We're looking forward to uh, working with you. Uh, we're looking forward to getting through all of these challenges. Uh, and I can't miss the opportunity of saying at some time getting a new high school in the city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But, I mean, that's another non-controversial issue that we can talk about at some point in time. Um, I do have a couple of my colleagues that stopped by. I wanted to recognize them, if you don't mind. Standing against the wall is uh, Dr. Ike Trout. Uh, I, I know I call him first because he's my council member, uh, and if, if I'm not nice to him, my trash doesn't get picked up. <laughs> Next to him is uh, Geraldine Valentino-Smith. And I say the nice thing about her is she's trained as a lawyer and as a nurse, so after she beats me up as a lawyer, she has to put me back together again. Uh, and I do that. Uh, and I see our, our county councilwoman, Ingrid Turner, is here with us tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, and you have some really outstanding uh, educators here. I see some of the great elementary schools. Uh, I just want to remind you that even though other people will take credit for a, a kind of a little adage, Bowie is where mayors bloom. I wanted to steal that from Tulip Grove before they get up here. But seriously, uh, I, I do want to thank, I want to thank you guys for being interested enough to stay engaged in this, because this is critical for us. Um, our students are just absolutely marvelous. Uh, I can't miss without this opportunity. I, I'm, I'm always bragging on Rockledge Elementary School. I, I tell this story about visiting, I think it was a third grade or a fourth grade classroom. And I walk in there and I'm talking to the guy. I always try to start a little conversation. And I ask the kids, who are your heroes? And you usually get some sports hero or something. The little girl says, my mom. The other boy says, my teacher. I said, oh, there's hope for humanity. You know? <laughs> and I asked a young, young boy in your classroom, I said, uh, what are you working on? He said, I'm working on computers. I said, can you give me an example? He walks over to the computer, turns it on, calls up the Rockledge website, and then links over to the City of Bowie website. Now, I'm thinking I'm third grade. If I could tie my shoes, I was a success. <laughs> so you guys are producing outstanding young people. Uh, their, their, their future is limited only by their imagination and our commitment to move them along. So with that, uh, I just want you to know we're pleased to have you here. We know these are challenges. And, we, and, I, and I don't want to seem too frivolous when I start talking about budgets and, and boundary changes. Because it's, it's emotional for us because we are invested in these issues. So um, if there's anything that we can do to make your job easier, um, we're here to do that. So welcome again, and you guys have a nice meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Robinson, city council members, and other distinguished guests. I am Dr. Brodus Yoha, a member of the City of Bowie Education Committee. This fall education forum is being sponsored by this committee, which is a group of volunteers dedicated to working for our community and who give freely of our time to support the projects that benefit the students and schools located within the City of Bowie. Some of the Education Committee projects include Teacher of the Month Awards, Paraprofessional Recognition Award, Grants for Education, the Excellence in Education Reception and Scholarships, Bowie Reads at Bowie Fest, the Young Persons Art Gallery, and I can't help but thinking the last time I was at the Young Persons Art Gallery 
we had Tulip Grove there. And you can imagine all of the children that were blooming <laughs> as they showed their artwork. And Student Recognition Awards, to mention just a few of our projects or events. Before we go any further, I'd like to share with you the fact that this program is being taped to air on the City of Bowie's government channel. As you may have realized when you saw the cameras. At this time, I would like to explain the evening's format. Dr. Bonita Potter, Deputy Superintendent of Prince George's County Public Schools, and her colleagues, um, Matthew Stansky, Chief Financial Officer, Andrew Zuckerman, Area 2 Executive Director, and Dr. Pamela downing Hoston, Director of Special Education. These representatives of Prince George's County Public Schools will give presentations on various aspects of the Prince George's County Public School System that are of interest to the parents, children, educators, and the city of Bowie. Immediately following the presentations, the microphone will be opened up for questions from the audience. We will then have, we will then have concluding remarks from Dr. Potter and any of the other presenters that would like to speak at that time, followed by final comments from the Education Committee. We would like, we would like to begin and I am going to turn it over to you, Dr. Potter. <coughs> so all of you that I've not had the opportunity to personally meet tonight and shake your hand, um, I certainly bring you greetings on behalf of our illustrious school system. Um, in, our, in his absence tonight, we'd like to welcome you. Um, but Dr. Bill Height, William R. Height, our superintendent, as well as our Board of Education. Uh, we are so pleased to be with you tonight for a number of reasons, but number one is that it is just good to be in the midst of people who really care about education, who really care about the future of our children. When I say ours, I truly mean that because, like many of you, I am also the parent of a Prince George's County Public School student. Uh, we just... <laughs> We have just begun sixth grade, and so my colleagues every day hear me um, torment and moan about, oh my gosh, what do we do? And so all of the advice that I've been giving parents all of these years, I, the chickens have now come home to roost. And we have started middle school, and so I am a very concerned parent uh, trying to make sure that he's able to juggle six different teachers and that he stays organized. And so now my concerns have really become um, area concerns. How do we make sure that we are now focusing on making sure that every child is successful? So tonight, we were given the opportunity, and we really thank the Bowie community for this opportunity. I told the mayor that I spent an awful lot of money in Bowie every weekend, thanks to my 11-year-old uh, son. This is one of his favorite shopping places. Um, and so we were given the opportunity tonight to come before you and to explain, also justify, and in many instances also try to give some sort of rationale behind some of the decisions as well as the directions that the district is taking. Um, the first thing that we were asked to present on tonight were what, would the, what are going to be the priorities for 2009, 2010? Um, I made my entrance in this district in July. It seems as though it's been two years, but it's only been about two and a half months ago. Uh, and when I tell you that I am vested, I truly mean that. I, in just this short period of time, have grown to really love Prince George's County and the awful commitment that many educators take upon their shoulders every day to push children to the next level. And so as we begin to think as a community about what our priorities should be for 2009, 2010, we really want to build on and honor the work that has happened in this great district over the last four years. And so we're going to talk some about student achievement tonight, but we're also going to talk about how do we take that work to the next level for each and every child.